Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's tutorial, we are diving deep into Angular's new feature that's been making wave in the way we configure our routes and passing data to the components. Angular never stops evolving its latest offering, bring us even closer to more streamlined and efficient development experience. So today we are going to talk about a feature that might seem small at the first glance but packs a significant punch in optimizing the components interaction and the feature name is with component input binding function. So let me first talk about uh, what is all I am talking talking about so whenever you click on this on this block card right so you will be routing to a detailed page so if I go below here if I click on this one right so I will be routing to a blog detail page where I have this title I have this image and introduction and whatnot so if I go back right and if I click on a like second blog or some other any other different blog so this is what I can see that I'm getting a dynamic content based on the blog ID okay so to implement something like this in angular right so most of you already know how to do that so let me show you the code example how we can achieve that in angular application so as you know right so first of all to do that right we have to first configure in our route so let me go in the app routing and I have to create a new route which is blog slash ID okay so whenever there is a route which is blog slash ID which means I'm talking about this route blog slash and whatever you see this this is your ID of your blog okay so whenever it is called so this will be loading this particular component which is blog detail component all right so now if I go in the blog detail component I will have to fetch the blog details based on the ID what you saw on the route correct so to get this ID from the route so what we do right there are two ways what I have seen like a lot of developer are using it in their angular project so the first one would be right so what I can do I can fetch the blog ID by making use of activated route okay so what I have to do I first have to inject this activated route and then what I can do I can just say activated route dot snapshot dot param like param map and then I can get the ID okay and this ID I can store it in a blog ID and what I can do right I can just load my blog details so if you see your method right so I have a blog service detail service and this fetches the blog detail let me show you the blog details so that it makes more sense so I have an API created for it so this is what my API looks like okay so this basically helps me to fetch that particular blog and return the data okay to the component and now once I subscribe to the data and this is what I'm trying to do I'm sending this response to the blog and this blog is what getting sent to my child component to display the blog detail okay so this is what the flow of the application is but what I'm concerned about is the way I'm doing things right now so I have to inject this then I have this and then I have to get the blog detail. okay so there is any uh, there is another way which by which you can do if I comment this code Okay, and if I uncomment this code, which is okay, which I have seen a lot of people doing it still, so that's what it is. So first of all, I have to do the params dot subscribe, and then from this parents, I can get the ID, and that I can store it over here in the blog ID, and then I can do the get blog detail. So it is somewhat same, just the fetching of ID is different over here as compared to this one. Okay, and most of you can have a dot sashi. What is this slash ID? So this ID is nothing but what you have configured inside your route. So can you see this ID and this should match but now we are in the latest version of angular right so now like for me I'm working on angular version 17.1 but you might be on angular version 16 so if you are version 16 and above so what you can do right you can leverage a feature of angular which is called as input okay with component input binding so how can I configure that so what if I see you right by just adding add the rate input over here right so you remember this at the rate input what we have like the input so that we can uh, basically receive our data into a child company it is that input decorator so once you add this input decorator you just have to say id and this id is of type string okay and now what you can do right you can make use of this thing so this will not work directly out of the box so you will have to go inside your app.config.ts go in this providers and inside provide route you will have to use this with component input binding okay the moment you add this right so now you will be able to leverage it so now let me just show you like if I go over here and if I comment all the code okay from the ng on in it and okay well, I don't know why is it not working let me try it again yeah it works now so if I do console.log okay and if I try to show you what is the value of this ID okay 
let's save all the changes and let's go on the browser to see what we get okay i think this is not saved let me save it now and let's open up your inspect okay so this is an expected behavior that the blog is null so now can you see here i'm getting the id okay which is 80d if i go back okay and now if i select some new blog suppose if i selecting this add seo friendly so can you see i'm again getting a new id which is there on the top okay which means now by just using at the rate input i am able to fetch the id from the route param okay and now what i just need to do right once i have id available in ng on in it i can just do this dot load my blog details and i can pass this dot id and that's it the moment i do this right if i save the changes and if i go back on the browser and let me remove this can you see now i am again able to use like i'm able to get uh, fetch my data correctly if i again go back if i select some other blog like this one can you see again i'm able to fetch it so now what you can do right now you can refactor your code that now you don't need this activated route anymore let's remove this uh, activated route we can also remove this commented code okay so let me remove this as well and that's it so now you don't need to use activated route to get your uh, query params okay whatever id you have on the route okay you can just get that just by adding at the rate input just make sure that this id should match so for so for example right if i just say here that this is my blog id and if I save the changes, okay, if I save the changes, correct. Uh, okay, let me change here also to blog ID. And if I save and go back, so I definitely get an error. Can you see that? I will be getting that, hey, there is an undefined or something like that. Okay, so it will not give me that data. So this will break for sure. So what I need to do, right? If this is blog ID, so what I need to do, you go in the app route.ts so this should also become blog id and now if i save the changes and you will see the magic that your data is back again so one thing to note this and this should match all right so now i know like a lot of people will say shashi we have watched your latest youtube video about signals input so can we also use signal input over here to get the job done so the answer to that is yes so let me tell you how we can do that so let me comment this code and now if i go here and if i say just like this is my blog id and what i'll do right i'll just make use of input which is again coming from angular slash core okay this is input the small input and now when i say that input dot require of type string okay of type string and that's it and now over here right this is a signal right now this becomes my input signal all i need to do is i just need to go and call here as a parenthesis by adding the parenthesis so now this becomes my blog id okay now if i save the changes and go back over here so still i will be able to get the blog can you see so still everything works fine so this is what i will say that you should be using so you should go with the angular's new input signal all right but again make a note that you should have this added this method added inside your provide router okay and that's about it so all right so that's what i had today for you guys where we have discussed about the new feature of angular okay and if you still have any question related to this so do let me know in the comment section also if you have loved my content then do give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel and share it with your friends so that they should also know the new way of developing things in angular so until then goodbye and see you in the next video